it is dug to a depth of 8 meter so it has been yes, dug to a depth of 8 meter and the earth taken out okay so is plot se jo bhi humne soil nikali whatever soil is taken from this plot now it is being spread over this field so eventually this field is leveled iski koi ek height nahi hai this is leveled yes, right sir. so when i will put all this soil in this field the height of this field will increase eventually ha now okay yes, sir. <clears throat> so will the volume will the volume of the soil spread on it and the volume of the soil dug from this plot will they not be equal arham uh, arhan yes sir okay why others haven't joined yet quickly help me drop a reminder from the okay meanwhile we will be solving this question yeah <clears throat> so volume of the volume of the soil on the field it will be equal to volume of the soil dug out from the plot isn't it hai na yes sir okay so the volume of this one will be length into breadth into height yes sir because if you were to see the biski height increase hogi right so we can imagine it to be a cuboid now yes hum sir hum cuboid ke form mein se imagine kar sakte hain this figure can be imagined as a cuboid then same is the case with this also ise bhi humne dug kiya hai for 8 meter tak humne ise dig kiya hai this is the height so there by length into breadth into height equals to length into breadth into height so here you are provided with all the three dimensions length breadth and height right 50 into yes, 30 into 8 8 and here only length and breadth is given that is 150 into 100 and height so question is basically asking you to find the height of the elevated elevation here jo iski height increase hogi is field ki that we need to find so height will be equal to 50 multiplied 30 multiplied 8 upon 150 into 100 is it clear now getting it how we yes, how we sir. need to find it yes sir Hmm. So that was easy, है ना? Okay. Yes, sir. So then let's get back to the chapter. The chapter that is stars and the solar system. We were discussing, and today we will try to complete the chapter. Yes, sir. Is my screen lagging? Huh? No, sir. Me no. Okay. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> yes, Simon. Salam alaikum. How are you? So far, we have discussed about all the planets of the solar system. Hey na? We did talked about all of the planets of the solar system, and then we were yes, talking sir. about some other celestial bodies found in the solar system yes, or in sir. the universe, right? So Meteor we did. Hmm. Exactly. Comment. So we did. We did talked about. Okay. We did talk about Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We talked yes, about sir. all of them, right? We basically discussed yes, that planets have no light of their own. You know, the the planets, yes, however, sir. shine and look like a star in the night sky because they reflect the sun of they reflect the light of the sun which falls on them. So planets yes, also sir. reflect the sunlight, right? But due to the uh, their atmosphere. due to their atmosphere exactly okay now <laughs> and each of the planet has got different composition some of them have got yes, atmosphere sir. some of some of them have got no atmosphere okay now, yes, now what is the easiest way to distinguish a star and a planet hmm. sir uh, planets uh, do not emit their own light meanwhile stars emit their own light and Stars hmm. twinkle meanwhile, uh, planets do not. Exactly, that is the easiest way to distinguish between the two, right? Okay. Also, we know yes, that sir. planets keep changing their position with respect to stars in the night sky. With yes, respect sir. to the they are with respect to the stars, the planet will be changing their position. So that is another yes, characteristic characteristics of distinguishing a planet from a star. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम एक ग्रुप ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ स्टार्स की बात करते हैं It is known to revolve around the North Star. जो हमारा polar yes, star sir. है, it rotates around it basically. Getting it now? Okay. Then we talked about the different characteristics of the planets, like the Mercury. Yes, <laughs> Mercury. What was the time taken <clears throat> by the Mercury to uh, do one revolution around the Sun? How much time does it take? <clears throat> the planet um, sir, mercury uh, it was around a <clears throat> sort of five hours <clears throat> what are you saying i am saying that how much time does mercury take to do one revolution around the sun revolution karne mein kitna time period leta hai mercury how can it be four to five hours it was 88 days it uh, was yes, 88 sir. days now ha huh? bahut important yes, figures hai please remember them i am talking about rotation it just takes 58 days okay now yes, so we ha- i have i have written written that here 58 days okay now <clears throat> and the revolution yes, is 88 days normally ye questions like these are like the um, multiple choice questions which might be asked in your board exams or in uh, in the competitive exams so please do remember that okay hmm Who hasn't joined the class still? Arham is not here. Okay. No. <clears throat> Then we talked about uh, Venus. What are the things we know about Venus? Quickly, quickly. Sir, uh, we are quickly trying to revise here. Quickly. So it's called. Uh, it's it's the closest planet uh, to the Earth. It's called the evening star. Mm. and it's the hottest planet mm. in our solar system and also called as and it has evening star evening star and also called as earth's twin am a twin yes sir am you also mentioned a few points regarding venus hmm yes um. Venus. Does Venus have any satellite? Does it, does it have any moon? Uh, no. It has okay. no moon. Okay. The diameter is twelve thousand hundred kilometer. Okay now. Hmm. Rotation time period is two forty three days, and evolution time period is two hundred twenty five days. Okay, almost equivalent yes, to sir. each other. There's a difference of just eighteen Earth days. We have talked about yes, we did talk about our very own planet. That is the Earth. Okay, so that is the yes, third planet from the Sun, and yes, there are two planets lying between the Earth and the Sun: Mercury and Venus. Okay, yes, getting it. And that is the only planet in the solar system on which life is known to be existing. Getting it. Yes, okay. Sir. And why the life is existing here? Because of the various environmental conditions that is available here on Earth. Okay. Yes, sir. So that basically helps. in the sustainability of life here the earth has atmosphere the earth has large quantity of water getting it it has a suitable yes, temperature sir. range the earth has got a protective blanket of ozone layer which protects the ultraviolet rays from entering into the lower levels of atmosphere thereby protecting us from the harmful impacts of uv rays we don't get skin cancer yes, our skins are not burned and in many other ways it is protecting us Okay. Yes, sir. Then the axis of rotation of Earth, if you were to look at it, it is slightly tilted. Ye, yes, sir. Tilted. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, It is also called the red planet because it appears red because of presence of iron oxide in its surface. Yes, sir. Can you get? Okay. Then it is visible from Earth for most of most part of the year. It can be seen right now. Okay. Yes, sir. 
<clears throat> all right then temperature is the closest to the earth exactly out of all the planets mars is having the most closest range of temperature to earth getting it yes sir okay and of all the planets it is most like the earth most like yes, the earth sir. as a, it is rocky planet it has got a atmosphere although it is very thin getting it now and the atmosphere yes, of the uh, uh, um atmosphere of the mars consists of carbon dioxide also okay carbon dioxide yes, we present atmosphere may then you have got nitrogen also oxygen is also there water vapor is also and frozen there. water Hmm. frozen water is also there water vapor is also present in its atmosphere somewhat in some minute quantities and then i say okay yes, no noble gases you know what are noble gases the led bulbs you see light emitting diode bulbs hmm? yes, we all use the uh, led bulbs or different types of yes, bulbs sir. where noble gases like neon argon are used you will get to know about noble gases more in later classes in uh, class 9 or 10 probably okay now hmm. yes sir because of having so much of similarity we see that out of all the planets mars mars is most like the earth ahmed getting it now <clears throat> if you were if if you guys are were regular in the class then you would not get confused with what we are <laughs> discussing in the class then <laughs> we talked about the biggest planet of the solar system that is a jupiter okay now so it is also yes, very bright it is very bright bhi hai okay and it is made up of mainly two elements namely what are they hydrogen and helium hydrogen and <coughs> helium okay hydrogen and helium how many uh, stars how many moons does it have the so about 69 satellite about 69 the biggest moon of the jupiter titan. is of jupiter 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 ki hum baat kar rahe hain <clears throat> titan is not the moon of jupiter ganymede no ganymede ganymede yes, yes. ganymede no yes, okay okay almost 1300 earths can fit in it yes ahmed the yes, mass sir. of the mass is almost 318 times that of earth right okay then we also talk like between jupiter and mars there lies a belt of rocks that can be ranging from um a size uh, its size can range from few meters to few miles samajh rahe ho getting it now yes, right sir. so rocks of these sizes basically they revolve around the sun and they are found between the mars and s and jupiter right okay yes sir <laughs> then we talked about uh saturn saturn ki bhi humne baat ki getting it now it is yes, the sir. it was the second or third biggest planet the second second biggest planet it's uh, it is also made up of Helium and hydrogen. Good. Okay. And one interesting thing we did talk. It is also the talk... planet with the least density. Very good. Very good. So imagine if you were to have a very huge ocean, huge ocean, an ocean yes, of uh, of great size. So Saturn can float on in it. Saturn is to float yes, on it. Getting it now. Okay. Yes, sir. Also, one of the most distinguished distinguishing feature of the Saturn was that. its system of colorful rings which are surrounding it yes okay. sir hmm. right now. how many uh, satellites does saturn have it has 62 yes sir 62 62 two satellites were there in saturn getting it okay shani grah bhi yes, hum kehte hain saturn ko as for yes, shani as for shani Shani Graha, since you guys are following NCERT, so you can see for sakte hain. Although not very important, the Hindi names of planets are not that much important. Okay. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Then we did talked about the seventh planet in the solar system, and that was Amad Uranus. Uranus. 
<coughs> yeah, sorry. <coughs> okay, just hold on for a second. <coughs> and try to recall what we did talked about the Uranus. Okay. <coughs> what were the points, both of you? Mention few points regarding Uranus. So it's also a gaseous planet and it's mm. the uh, second coldest planet <coughs> because mm. it uh, does not, uh, uh, because the sunlight does not reach <coughs> Uranus very much. Mm -hmm. Good. Ahmed, you? <coughs> Yes, Ahmed. <clears throat> Any one point? Just one or two points. Are you are you saying something? Can I name one point? Oh, okay, hold on for a second. Ahmed, are you there in the class? Yes, I am. Yeah, mention few points regarding Uranus. We did talk about it in the class. Our presenting class, man. You yes, said okay, Ahmed. Please, like, uh, ensure like your uh, mic is working properly on a regular basis. I have seen that your mic is a issue. Hai. Okay, your voice does not come very clear. Oh. Okay, do you, um, uh, with which device you take your classes? Is it from your laptop or is it from your phone? phone. Phone. And do you directly speak into the mic of the phone or do you have got a earphone or headphone? Um, yes, I have headphones. You have headphones now. Okay, have okay. Headphones. okay, okay, good. So, Uranus, we did talk about it. We talked about it like it's the seventh planet from the sun. And one of the most interesting features was using the telescope, it was the first planet to have been discovered. Okay. Yes, sir. And it's built is also <coughs> vertically. Exactly. Also, it's horizontally. Exactly. It's horizontal. That is the most distinguishing feature about the Uranus. So, in the next uh, uh, slide, you can see like the tilt of all the planets are like this. Earth ka tilt from the uh, perpendicular plane, it's 23 and a half. Jupiter, it's just 3 degrees. Saturn and Neptune is given. But interestingly and weirdly, Uranus is having have got a tilt of around 97.6 degree. Yes, Thereby, uh, and there was theory like th it got, it basically got hit by a celestial body. Thereby, it still changed. Right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Then we did talk about the last planet of the solar system. That is Neptune. Okay. Yes, sir. It is, was the eighth planet from the sun and it lies beyond Uranus. Uh, also, we can say, uh, up till 2009 now till 2009 we had nine planets right yes sir, so pluto. that time that time we would have said that uh, pluto is the ninth planet not not 2009 2006 till 2006 there were nine planets in the solar system okay that was pluto. Yes, sir. okay now then international astronomical union IAU, that is the International Astronomical Union. It adopted a new definition of planet. Is yes, planet ki new de definition ko adopt ki. Okay. <clears throat> and Pluto did not fit it in that definition of the planet. So thereby it was removed from the category of a planet. So then Neptune became the eighth planet. You can remember the name of the organization, IAU, International Astronomical Union. Yes, All right. Now, then we talked about Neptune also, third largest planet. Hai ye. Rotation and evolution times are as follows. So the coldest Distance. planet. <laughs> that is also the coldest planet. Okay. It has got 14 moons or other 14 satellites and it is extremely cold. Yes. Sir. Getting it, guys. So that is extremely cold because it is mainly it is at a great distance from the sun and it is ma yes, mainly sir. made up of liquid and frozen hydrogen and helium gas okay so it was yes, made up of frozen hydrogen and helium gas right so thereby since yes, the temperature is extremely low no life can exist on the planet neptune okay yes, sir. no life can exist on this planet and neptune has also some rings around it. 
नेपट्यून्स के भी कुछ रिंग्स हैं ओके देन वी डिड टॉक्ड अबाउट अदर बॉडीज लाइक एस्टेरॉइड्स मीटियर्स एंड मीटियोराइड्स सो कॉमेट यू गाइस नो व्हाट आर कॉमेट राइट ना व्हाट आर कॉमेट्स वी नो अबाउट इट वी डिड टॉक्ड अबाउट मीटियर्स एंड मीटियोराइड्स ओके सो फर्स्ट मैंने एक टर्म यहां पे कहा था दैट इज मीटियोराइड्स और व्हाट आर मीटियोराइड्स these are of celestial bodies whose size can range from a grain to a rock boulder size right now yes okay and i did told you guys that what basically happens now what basically happens uh <coughs> the meteoroids the meteoroids that uh, comes into the orbit of the earth that will be called as meteor yes sir meteor and the meteors that falls on that falls on the earth will be called as meteoroids meteorites, meteorites. Yes, so there will be very few meteoroids that actually reaches the surface of the earth this was the one yes, of the sir. biggest meteoroids that fall it is somewhere in uh, in india i don't recall the name of the place right so meteors to yes, fall sir. karte hain they do fall but they get burnt up in the atmosphere due to friction yes, right sir. okay and then you had the satellite system of the earth as well like yes, moon you know moon is the natural satellite now is am i there uh, no sir so moon is the natural satellite of the earth right now okay yes, well sir. then you have got many man made satellites also and they are also revolving around the sun right yes sir so we sir, commonly call uh, yes, the sir. we commonly call earth's natural satellite as right all the natural satellites yes, of all other planets are also called as their moons hum earth yes, ki sir. natural satellite ko moon kehte hain while you will be calling the satellite of neptune also as its moon getting it yes, okay sir. so out of the eight planets of the solar system the first two planets what are they they are my favorite <laughs> mercury and venus they do do they have satellites no sir no so mercury <clears throat> remember this thing that mercury and venus have no satellites while the rest planets have either one or more than one satellites so mercury yes, and sir. venus jo hamari series of planets ki mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune so only the first two planets don't have any satellites remember that and yes, please note that somewhere okay and do these satellites have their own light do no, the natural no, satellites sir. no so they they reflect have... the uh, sunlight exactly no natural light of their <laughs> own getting it because they yes, are basically sir. reflecting the light of this right and the manner in which the moon the earth's natural satellites revolves around the earth we know it so it has got its own orbit orbit is nothing but a fixed elliptical path in which a celestial body revolves around another celestial body theek hai na yes sir okay then <coughs> who was the first person to land on the moon uh, sir neil armstrong neil armstrong and he went when in the year 1969 1969 who were the other crew members with him <laughs> sir his uh, name was a uh, it his name was starting with a e e i do not remember edwin aldrin neil armstrong yes, neil armstrong and edwin aldrin was there by the way one or two crew members were also there or be looked but i don't remember their names anyways these two are more important getting it Okay. Yes, sir. Now, if you were to talk about the distance of the moon from the Earth, what is its distance? How far is it? One fifty million kilometers. Again, na, uh, <clears throat> that is the distance of Earth from Sun. We are talking about the distance of moon from Earth. How could it be one fifty million kilometer? Huh? <clears throat> Arhan, um, getting it? Yes, sir. Distance of moon so around 300000 kilometers hmm <clears throat> around how much 3 lakh 
kilometer that is the exact figure okay so remember that that is the distance of moon from earth and which if i were to ask you like which is the closest celestial body to earth the hmm? uh, moon exactly so it is also closest celestial body to earth hai na yes sir right okay <laughs> and why it does appear more bigger than the uh, stars the reason is obvious <coughs> yes sir <clears throat> because it is much nearer to the earth than the stars right okay yes sir and then and then we have we have the artificial satellites also right now hamare paas artificial sir. satellites we have for example <clears throat> look here that is a indian national satellite system okay so what is it it is nothing but it's a series of multi purpose geo stationary satellites that was launched by indian space research organization to satisfy telecommunications so <clears throat> so basically you and me we are able to have access to televisions right yes, we are able to connect from each other via the cell phones right yes, you and me are connected together why the zoom meeting right all these yes, are sir. under the part of telecommunications okay and how basically telecommunication works it works like this okay suppose you are here on earth okay and that is a satellite let's say orbiting the earth ek satellite that is orbiting the earth okay and suppose you are using google maps you are using google map yes, to sir. view a location of any object for example okay so where did you got that data basically from what basically happened satellite hmm see here that is sun okay sun's rays are falling on different objects sun ki rays different objects to fall kar rahi hai it is falling on vegetation right it is falling yes, on buildings falling on water bodies getting it so vegetation yes, buildings water bodies three criteria hai hamare paas okay <clears throat> and then there are other things also in vegetation you can uh, include mountains also okay water bodies may you can in, uh, include all the water bodies so basically what will happen happen we know that when light falls on any surface it reflects from it okay yes so all this light will be reflecting here and then it, the reflected light rays will reach the satellite here <clears throat> it will reach the satellite that is a satellite now what basically happens the satellite will receive these reflected rays and it will study those waves hmm it will be uh, yes, studying those waves and then jo bhi information ye trap karega it will be sending those those signals back to a receiver here ek receiver hoga earth par that will be receiving the data back from the satellite and thereby you will be able to see the google map of an area or you we you and me are able to watch the televisions getting it yes sir okay also then <coughs> also then what happens here this satellite is using the <coughs> reflected rays of the sun okay here this is using the reflected rays of the sun but then <coughs> you have got <coughs> antennas or uh, dish tv antennas like these installed ha huh? tumhare paas is tarah ke antennas bhi install hote hain ghar pe getting it what this structure is for example dish tv antenna yes sir han yes sir okay so what will happen <coughs> suppose kahin par dish tv antenna installed hai okay and suppose from the broadcast station 
So they the, catch the signals. Exactly, they catch the coming from the satellite. Exactly. Suppose news is being broadcasted. News broadcast हो रही है, and we are able to watch it live. Okay, you are able to watch the cricket match, football matches live, because the news channels are broadcasting them. They by they are sig- sending those signals to the satellite. What they are doing? They are basically sending their signals to the satellite, and then the satellite sends those signal back to the antennas here or the receivers here. Getting it? How it works? Right. So the news channels or uh, news channels or the different uh, media consumption that people do. That is due to basically signals are being sent to the satellites, and then satellite sends it back to the receivers here, like like the antenna here. Or for example, if you were to uh, consider other situations where sunlight rays reflected from different uh, features present on the land surface, and then when these light gets reflected back, and it uh, it is being trapped by the satellite, so satellite basically studies that, analyzes it, processes it, and then sends back to the Receiver station present on Earth. So that is how the satellites are work, working. That is the simple phenomena. That is the simple principle in uh, how uh, satellites are working. Now India ha- has sent so many satellites. Recently, Chandrayaan was launched. Getting it now. On twenty third of August, yes, Chandrayaan was launched. So that was actually a space shuttle that was sent on the surface of the moon on the southern side of it. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. So That's that right. is a that is a different thing. That is the space shuttle. So we here we are talking about satellites, not the space shuttles, or the room or the rovers. Okay, rovers be होते हैं. Not we are not talking about that. So satellites are what they are not landing on the surface of the uh, of the moons or any other bodies. They basically orbit in the orbit around the celestial body. Right then, yes, sir. Indian remote sensing system is the largest constellation of remote sensing satellites for civilian use in operation today in the world with eleven operation satellites. Nothing that nothing too important here is that simply remember what IRS is. IRS stands for Indian Remote Sensing. Okay, and this has basically launched several satellites. and those satellites provides data which are used for civilian purposes you and me use that data getting it now okay so far we have been talking about the artificial satellites but we haven't uh, defined it yet artificial satellites how do you define it quickly try to define it hmm kaise hum define kar sakte hain we would say that these are the man made spacecraft which is yeah am i audible am i audible now yes, okay so i was saying that artificial satellites they are man made spacecrafts Space crafts, and where do we place them? In the orbit, orbit of the, the Earth. Uh, the orbit of the Earth. We yeah, place करते हैं. That is the orbit of the Earth, around in which the satellites will be placed here. Yes. So they are man-made space crafts placed in the orbit of the Earth, and are rotating around the earth right now okay yes, so that is basically artificial satellites right now agar hum baat karte hain moon ki so if you were to look at the moon and if you were to look at the man made satellite which one is nearer to the earth obviously the man made man made satellites are much nearer to the earth right okay yes, now if you should have posed this question like how this moves around the earth hmm? so it basically it basically moves around the earth which is maintained by the gravitational pull of the earth 
earth has got its field of gravity thereby whatever object is in the um in in the of gravitational field of the earth it will be getting pulled by the earth getting it getting yes. it or not okay so <coughs> so we place artificial satellites like a few few thousand kilometers above it above the earth and then we push it sideways hum sideways push karte rehte hain ise so you can see here that this satellite is being pushed sideways but still it will be being attracted by the gravity of the earth right now so we are pushing it sideways yes, also sideways we are pushing it but then it will be getting pulled by the gravity of the earth also thereby it remains in a fixed orbit right now so thereby it keeps yes, it will keep revolving around the earth continuously without stopping so we the only fuel we use is to maintain its path jo bhi fuel hum kharch karte karte hain satellite pe that fuel it basically uses to keep itself in that orbit orbit se bahar nahi jana chahiye getting it now yes sir getting it okay then now <coughs> the artificial satellites that we send in the orbit of the earth they carry a variety of equipment and instrument with them yes sir for example they could be carrying with them what they could be carrying cameras with them they might be equipped equipped, equipped with cameras hai na yes, infrared sensors ho sakte hain solar panels <clears throat> which one solar panels sir. solar panels exactly solar panels okay solar panels will panels will be recharging its battery okay or in some cases it is directly um, It, yeah, it directly generates the energy without recharging the uh, battery okay it might yes, be sir. equipped with the telescopes also hum telescopes bhi equip kar sakte hain getting it and then yes, there sir. are many other uh, objects uh, machines also installed in it for a variety of purposes right now okay so the yes, electricity sir. is required to keep all these instruments operational so electricity where does it come from as you said comes from Solar, solar cells or solar panels in it, right now. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, then the information that is coming from the satellite to the Earth. Do we have some wire connection between the satellites and Earth? No. No, sir. There is there is no physical contact with the object, so thereby. No, sir. We are able to sense. We are able to sense the. far of the places we are able to get the information sitting it uh, sitting here at our home okay in the smartphones so from the remote areas we are able to sense things now hum dur se hi cheezon ko sense kar pa rahe here by sense we are not talking about physical touch i mean to say that we are not talking about sense of touch sense of smell not in that way so we are basically saying that we are able to get the information by just by sitting at our homes we can get the information of remote areas so thereby the technique here is called as remote sensing are you getting it remote sensing hmm? yes sir getting it okay <coughs> now we will be sending the satellites for a variety of purposes we send the satellites for a variety of purposes what those purposes could be Yes. So telecommunication. <coughs> Purposes की हम बात करते हैं. And we send uh, rovers on different planets and satellites. No. Stick. <coughs> okay, using the satellites we send rover. No, that is not correct. We don't use satellites to send rovers on the planets. We use we use what rockets now. Hmm. Uh, sir, I said uh, uh, we uh, use rovers to get the information about the certain satellites. No, rover is a different thing. <clears throat> rover is different different from satellites. Rover does not orbit in the or uh, does not revolve in the orbit around the Earth. It's a satellite. So it uh, it is sent at the surface of 
a planet huh. or a satellite. Exactly, exactly. But here we are only talking about the artificial satellites that basically does revolution around the sun in a orbit. Get it? So one yes. of the purpose, as you said, it is used for daily communication. Then another use of it is like weather forecasting. Okay. Yes, sir. So weather forecasting maybe is ka istamal hota hai. <coughs> Getting it? Okay. Yes. Now <coughs> it can also be used for surveying the natural resources of the earth. You can use it for surveying the natural resource. Like if you were to have a bird's eye look at the at the <clears throat> at the for example, if you were to look at the polar ice caps, okay. If you were to look yes, at sir. the uh, the surface area of the polar ice caps, has it increased or decreased? So just by looking it at it, just by having a front view, we can't see whether it has increased or decreased. But if you were to look above it, so then we can say yes, it has shrinken. Getting it? What I'm trying to say? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. So by by the help of the artificial satellites, we are able to uh, survey the natural resources of Earth. So for example. Water, frozen water, soil, forest cover. Okay now. So by viewing it, viewing these resources from above, we are able to see it. We are able to predict whether it has increased or decreased. We are able to do the survey. Right now, getting it now. Yes, and sir. then like, uh, like if uh, there is forest fire somewhere, कहीं पर forest fire है. Okay. Example. If there is forest fire, how much of damage has been done? So that can also be studied using the artificial satellites, right? And then yes, fifth sir. one is for military purposes also. Okay, we use it. Like where are the hideouts of the enemy? Where are the bunkers of the enemy? Where are the military camps of the enemy? That can also be spotted using the artificial satellites. Getting it? Yes, okay. So this the satellites is all... are also used for uh, traffic jams and uh, <clears throat> and for no. uh, checking. Not necessarily for such purposes. Okay, now <clears throat> not not on it. Not on that level. Okay, not on that level. Because for traffic, traffic up, Cassie, like uh, if you were to say. This is the forest cover in an area, for example. Forest cover, and the traffic's are what they are in narrow lanes, for example. अगर हम कंबी करते हैं और huge forest cover की बात अगर हम करते हैं and if you were to look at a road, so <clears throat> will the traffic data be uh, received by this artificial satellite? I'm not saying that it cannot be received. I am saying that yes, it can be received, but then. What is the utility of that data actually? That's not too much, now. <clears throat> yes. By Google Maps, yes, yes, by Google Maps, yes, we can see that uh, yeah, uh, a certain uh, 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 certain road is blocked. A certain road is having traffic jam. Yeah, but that you have got the Google Map. Okay, where the data is basically regulated by the um, uh, traffic management team. They basically input and input that data into it. For that purpose, is not a satellite will be used because retrieving a data from satellite using the satellites to obtain the data it is quite expensive. Getting it now? Okay. Yes, sir. And then, if I were to ask you, India has also built so many satellites. Huh? India has built so many artificial satellites. Uh, developed. Here. Which was the first artificial satellite of India? Hmm? <clears throat> we did talked about in the class. Yes. Sir, uh, the uh, the satellite which was used for telecommunication, I S A T. Nahi, nahi. That is another thing. I am drawing the diagram here. Maybe it will give you a hint here. Look here. It somewhat looked like this. 
<clears throat> this is the Arya Bhatt, remember? Yes. This is the Arya Bhatt, remember? Previously, I told you. So, in the year 1975, this satellite was launched by India. Right? So, remember that that was the first satellite of India. And you could remember, you should be remembering some other names also, some of the other satellites that is launched by the India. Other satellites. Okay, like like Bhaskar is there. Okay, Bhaskar is there. Then the inside series of satellites. Getting it now. Then you can also remember Kalpana one. Kalpana one, you can remember that one. Okay. And all these satellites were basically designed by International Space Research Organization, that is ISRO, right now. So either a few of the satellites were developed in partnership with some other countries, they borrowed the technology from the other countries, or some of the satellites were developed on the indigenous technology, like the technology that was not borrowed from any other country, but that was developed in the India. Getting it what I'm trying to say here? Yes, sir. Okay, now. All right. So we did talk about the different types of satellites, okay, and how a satellite is placed into the orbit of the Earth. Okay. So we still have few minutes remaining. There are few numerical questions I would like to discuss with you. Is Ahmed here in the class? He has not joined back. No, sir. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm giving you a question. Suppose. So not suppose it's actually the radius of Jupiter is 11 times the radius of Earth. You know? Okay. You are required to <laughs> calculate the ratio of the volume of Jupiter and Earth. Will you be able to do it? And then also tell how many Earths Jupiter can accommodate. The 3800. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> but let's solve it first. Thereby <laughs> Your answer. Sir, I will try. Okay, try doing it. <clears throat> After this uh, chapter. Today the chapter ends here. After this, we have got this chapters next. <coughs> the pollution of water. Pollution of water is there. Okay. Sir, <clears throat> eleven is to one. Yes. <clears throat> eleven is to. Sir, it's eleven. One. 
नहीं नहीं हाउ कैन इट पे यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रेशियो ऑफ वॉल्यूम नॉट द रेशियो ऑफ रेडियस रेडियस का रेशियो वन इज इलेवन इज टू वन होगा डेट इज करेक्ट ओके लुक लेट मी हेल्प यू लुक द क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट सिंपल द क्वेश्चन बेसिकली सी इज द रेडियस ऑफ जुपीटर इज इलेवन टाइम्स डेट ऑफ द रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ वे नीड टू कैलकुलेट द रेशियो ऑफ देयर वॉल्यूम्स राइट नाउ ओके so when i see that the radius of jupiter is 11 times that of the earth what do we mean we basically mean that if the radius of earth is taken as one earth ki radius humne agar one exactly exactly that is correct now then so if this is the radius of earth humne assume kar liya it is one kisi bhi unit pe humne assume kar liya we are not taking any unit okay it could be any unit so the radius of jupiter not like that so the radius of jupiter it is saying that it is 11 times that of earth theek hai na okay so then let's compare the volume of the two now we know volume of a sphere is what 4 upon 3 pi r cube isn't it yes sir okay so jupiter ki volume if you were to find it out it will be 4 upon 3 pi humne le liya 22 upon 7 r cube that is 11 into 11 into 11 right now and talking about earth it will be simply 4 upon 3 multiplied 22 upon 7 multiplied 1 right yes sir so that is the volume of jupiter and volume of earth now we need to find its ratio thereby we have to divide the two you will be dividing the two jupiter upon earth so 4 upon 3 will be getting cancelled this will again get cancelled this cancels this cancels okay so thereby what basically remains 11 cube that is 1331 upon 1 is that clear uh, arhan yes sir so the ratio of their volume is 1331 is to 1 getting it now so we can also say that How many Jupiter? How many moons can fit in the Earth? Thirty nine and thirty one. Thirty nine and thirty one. Getting it now. All right then. So that's yes. it for the. Ah, uh, that's it all. And that is there in the chapter. Okay. Okay. Do remember all the things we have talked before we begin the before we um, conclude the class. Quickly, do tell me about all the phases of the moon. Names of the different phases of the moon. Yes, it's starting from new. Can uh, can uh, new moon uh, waxing crescent first quarter uh, uh, waxing give us uh, waxing give us and uh, second quarter waning give us uh, third quarter and waning crescent. Waning crescent. What is the waning phase and the waxing phase? Of the moon. The so, waning phase is when the uh, hmm. uh, <clears throat> when the part of moon that is visible is reducing. Uh, visible is less. Hmm. And when it starts to increase its size, that is the waxing It's phase of the waxing phase of the moon. All right. Yes. Sir. Okay then, so so let's conclude the chapter then. All right now. Okay, so we will meet in next class then with the new chapter. Okay, in next science class we will be beginning with the new chapter. All right then, so Allah is then. <laughs> <laughs>
गुड इवनिंग सर अरुणा आर इन क्लास सेवन यस हेलो एम या अरुणा वेर यू प्रेजेंट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सर हम चाक्रिका ओके ओके यू हैव ज्वाइन फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट डैडी टुडे ओके दैट्स व्हाई गॉट कंफ्यूज्ड ओ सॉरी सर आई फॉरगॉट टू चेंज माय नेम ओके नो इशू नो इशू नो नीड टू चेंज इट्स let's continue <clears throat> so we were talking about lights right now okay we did discuss few of the important points from the chapter Chakrika, you were present in the previous class, no? Oh uh, no, sir. I was absent actually. I went out. So. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You haven't missed too much, by the way. You can still connect. Okay. Where is okay, Where is Sundu Sanwaika? Uh, sir, can you wait for like two minutes once? Okay. Okay. No issue. Okay. <clears throat> yes sir i'm back <clears throat> okay <clears throat> all right so we were talking about chapter light okay we have covered the basic points regarding the light okay now like what is light okay what are the laws of <clears throat> what are the laws that the light follows we were talking about that okay now before moving on to the laws of reflection we haven't discussed the laws of reflection yet okay so no need to worry about that you haven't missed much so we were actually talking about plane mirrors in the class in the previous class and the curved mirrors and the types of images that is formed by a plane mirror what is the nature of it all right now okay <clears throat> so i said that uh, in the previous class regarding the plane mirror regarding the plane mirror what is the nature of the image you will always get to see that you will have an erect image that is upright not inverted right now lateral inversion can be seen by the way if you were to raise the left hand you will be seeing the right hand in the plane mirror images were also of the same size as of the object right <clears throat> okay and it, i did told you guys that in order to get the full body image in a plane mirror what do we need to do we need to have a size of a mirror which is at least the half, at least half the size of the person getting it what i'm trying to say Uh, so can you repeat again in order to get the full body image of a person in a plane mirror suppose if someone is having a height of 6 feet and he wants to get a full body image in the plane mirror 
So there by he needs to get twelve feet nearer. No, just half, half the size of his height. At least it has to be half the size. Okay. So At least it has to be the, half the size. If he's like six meter, like mm. um, six, um, six feet, feet, feet away. Feet. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Then. Yes, you were saying something. Chakrika, continue. Oh uh, no, sir. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay so in order to get the full body image of a person the height of the mirror at least has to be half the size of the person if it's 4 feet no issue 5 feet no issue but the minimum height required is 3 feet okay then we also discussed in the previous class like if if a person is running with a speed of 5 meter per second towards the plane mirror then his image or her image will be coming towards the person with a speed double with a with double of that speed so that will be 10 meter per second okay now just remember that yes, point sir. that is important yeah harun uh, is that your first class today say Me, I'm joining <laughs> with my brother. Okay, okay. Chakrika also did join with another ID today. You also. Okay, you guys are confusing me. I thought new students have joined the class. Anyways, and we also talked about. Um, <coughs> furthermore, we did talked about <coughs> this lateral inversion thing. So it. Simply that if you were to raise right hand, you will be seeing your left hand on the image. So the lateral inversion is sideways, not upright. Lateral right, ah, uh, lateral inversion here is sideways inversion. Getting it? What I'm trying to say here, it's not like your hand will appear downward. Not like that. So left right inversion of the image is seen in a plane. So here. basically, the opposite <laughs> of what we do. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> okay now. But the image will always be erect, standing in the upright position. It's not like the head of the person will be down and the feet will be upward. Not in that manner. Okay, that you will get to see, but in the another types of mirror, right? Uh, sir, did we did did we do the ray diagrams? Not not yet. We haven't begin that yet. Okay. okay and for an observer, an observer can only see a reflection on a plane mirror when. If he is within the range of the visibility, okay. For example, if a person is uh, standing here at a distance of one kilometer from the plane mirror, obviously that person will not be getting an image of his or her on the plane mirror. So there has to be a range of visibility. He needs to stand in the range of visibility. Getting it now? Right now? Okay. Now later on, after this, you have got the. laws of reflection now see what the laws of reflection basically says here okay i need to add a page give me a moment add a page let me yeah so we were talking about laws of reflection so in those we did some point we discussed some point regarding the laws of reflection like the first law of reflection the first law of reflection it basically said that when on a plane mirror a line uh, a light ray falls okay and when it reflects the does the angle form between the incident ray and the normal and then the angle form 